Hello, this is Kalevani, Assistant Professor of Chemistry. Uh, today I am going to uh, discuss about the origin of soil. Okay, so let's see origin of soil. So first we have to say about the soil. So soil is unconsolidated mineral or organic matters on the immediate surface of the earth. So which means the minerals are accumulated in the surface of the earth. Okay. So that serves as a natural medium for the growth of land plants. So this is called soil. And also soil is the accumulation of unconsolidated uh, sediments and deposits of solid particles as a result from the disintegration of rocks. So it is also a result from the fragmentation of the rocks. Okay. And another important thing is the rock is a natural aggregate of minerals that are connected by strong bonding of attractive forces considered as consolidated materials. So these are all the soil is nothing but it is a mineral particles and also a organic particles. Okay. So next soil types. So the major categories of soils are gravel, sand, slit and clay. So these are the main categories belongs to the soil types. Okay. So first, gravel and sand are universally considered as coarse grain soil. So it is um, mostly its texture is grain okay, because of their individual particles that are large enough to distinguish without magnification. On the other hand, slit and clays are considered as a fine grain soil because of the tiny particles. So it almost depends upon the size of the particles. Isn't it? So next... So we have to discuss briefly one by one. So first we have to discuss about the sandy soil. So sandy soil means the soil type has the biggest particle. Among the uh, types it is the biggest particles. And the bigger size of the particles in a soil the better is aeration and drainage of the soil. So it is mainly useful for the aerations. Okay. And this soil is granular and consists of rock and mineral particles that are very small. Okay, this is the main important advantage of the sandy soil. To check if soil is sandy, motion a small sample of soil and try to make a ball using your palms. If the soil is sandy, then no dirt balls will form and the soil will crumble and fall through the fingers. So this is just examples of the sandy soil. Okay, next move to the slitty soil. So, slitty soil is considered to be...